Good morning, friends. Welcome back again to Nokomis Storytime. I'm here in front of my family's tinsel tree, and I'm wearing my holiday sweater because today I'm going to read you a book that reminds me of this holiday season. Since most of us, or many of us, have been baking lots of cookies, I have decided that today's story will be The Gingerbread Man. This one is Richard Scarry's version, and it is read with permission by Random House Books. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived in a neat little house in the wood. Every day, the little old woman baked wonderful cookies and cakes and pies for the little old man. One day, she decided to bake something special for him. So she made a beautiful gingerbread man. He had raisins for eyes, a currant for his nose, and a pink sugar candy waistcoat. She popped him into the oven to bake. When he was done, the little old woman took him out of the oven, laid him on the table to cool, and went out into the yard to water the flowers. As soon as she was out of sight, the gingerbread man sat up on the table. Seeing that no one was around, he climbed down and ran out the door and away down the path. The little old woman and the little old man saw him. Stop, stop, they cried. But the gingerbread man only laughed and called over his shoulder, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And with that, he ran even faster with the little old woman and the little old man running behind him. When a gentle brown cow saw the gingerbread man running down the road, she thought how good he would taste. So she cried, stop, stop. But the gingerbread man only laughed. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I got away from the little old woman and the little old man. And I can get away from you. I can, I can. And he ran faster than ever with the little old woman, the little old man, and the gentle brown cow after him. Then he saw a big brown bear eating honey from a tree, and he knew that he would have to run even faster. When the bear smelled the wonderful gingery smell, he thought how good the gingerbread man would taste with his honey. So the bear cried, stop, stop. But the gingerbread man drew a deep breath and laughed and cried out, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I got away from the little old woman, the little old man, and the gentle brown cow. And I can get away from you. I can, I can. And he ran with the little old woman, the little old man, the gentle brown cow, and the big brown bear all running after him. At last, the gingerbread man saw a river before him, and he did not know how he could cross it. But a wily red fox was sitting near the river, and when he saw the gingerbread man, he decided that he would eat him. As the gingerbread man ran up to the river's edge, the wily red fox came out to meet him. Jump on my tail, and I will carry you across the river he called to the gingerbread man. If I do, you will eat me, said the gingerbread man. Oh no, declared the fox. I don't like gingerbread. So the gingerbread man jumped on the fox's tail and the fox waded into the river. But soon the water grew so deep that it lapped about the toes of the little gingerbread man. Fox, he said, I am getting wet. Jump on my back cried the wily red fox. The gingerbread man jumped on the fox's back, but again the water started to lap about the gingerbread man's feet. Fox, he said again, I am getting wet. Jump on my head, cried the fox. The gingerbread man jumped on the fox's head, but the water was soon creeping up. Jump on my nose, said the wily red fox. The gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's nose and snip, snip, the fox gobbled him up. And that is just what should happen to all gingerbread men. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, I encourage you to find the gingerbread man at your local library or your local bookstore. And until next time, 
keep reading, 